So guys, it's Adam here, and you know, I, well, I built a rubber band gun out of paper, but now I want to see if it will work with wood. Here's what I got so far. So, wait, I, I'm going to skip it until I'm done with the body, but all you need to do is make it like a gun-shaped body, and I'll talk to you guys after I do that. Well, guys, I finished the gun shape. You might want to sand it out there a bit, because it... But anyway, so, as you can see, I have these. These and this. The thing I want to do is cut those out, and, and then I'll tell you what else. So, I'll get to you guys later. Hey, guys, uh... Just want to check in, as you can see there, the black, don't cut on that, just cut a slit down, down and, and out, okay, and I cut myself right here, so kids, be careful and have adult supervision, okay, so guys, um, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Just anything for the rubber band to latch on to and then but that this is that piece done. And you may want to sand it out a bit after maybe and um, sand this part out. I, I didn't have the patience but another idea you didn't you could uh I didn't have the patience for doing this but you could kinda like Cut like that. Just anything for the rubber band to latch on to. Okay, to hold the rubber band. So now I'm gonna cut these. They have to be diagonal like this, okay? And then I'll get back to you guys later. Hey guys, so just another quick stop, but just want to tell you that you don't need to cut the whole black line. Just need something for the rubber band to go into. But, you can make as many as you want, but I'm just going to make three for the sake of this video. But, uh, I'll check in with you guys later. What's up, lovely people? Um, so, yeah, I finished it. Got the cut right here. Got these cuts. Don't think you can see them very well, but. And there you go. And it's not finished yet. You can't just shoot it right now, but. You're going to need to use some spare parts from the wood, some spare wood, to um, build the rest of the gun, and I'll get to get, have you guys, and I'll get down to it, and stuff. So guys, what I did was I just marked this on the spare piece of wood, and you're going to cut that off, okay? And then you're... And then you're going to save this piece, and then you're going to cut other pieces that I'll show you. Okay? So guys, hang on. So, I'm done with the piece. And, as you can see, it fits in right there. So now what you need to do... That piece finished. You're not gonna glue it, so don't glue it. Um, damn, just let me take my glove up here. Get your wood back again. Measure, put these together, and like that. And then draw a line right down there, and then that's where you're gonna cut, okay? Okay. Yeah, hang on. Let me get this. Uh, a line right down there. And once you're finished with that, but yeah, okay. A line, and then cut that line. Okay. So, see you guys.
later. So here I am, I finished the piece. So what you're gonna need to do is copy both pieces of wood and I'll show and then I'll show you guys what to do after that. So see ya. So guys, here we are with all the parts we need to build the rubber band gun. All the cuts and everything. Don't matter if it's chip, because we're gonna probably most likely cut all these in half. But yeah, it took forever to cut with this saw. It took forever. No power tools. I did this by hand. It was so hard. It took so long. It took forever. But anyway, what we're gonna do is cut these in half and then we'll be back and I just cut each one of them the same. Hey guys, just check up nothing with the um wood, but I just found this um it's a measuring tape. But I found something cool about it. See that? It's a pencil sharpener too. It's really cool. So I just wanted to show you guys that. It's actually pretty cool. Never seen one like that. It's like pretty cool. Hey guys, um, I just finished my gun. Sorry about TV. I can't do nothing about that. But here's the finished product of my wooden gun. And as you can see, I screwed those together. And here's this part. And what you do is make sure that it's done like that. And to load the rubber bands, you gotta take a rubber band, poke it right there, bring it around the sides, pull it back to the farthest slot. And then the next one, same thing, but to the second spot. And then the third one, of course, you can guess on the last one. Hang on, one second. Okay, there it is. This is it loaded, and I'll do a shooting test in a sec. So guys, uh, I already tried shooting it, but it doesn't work. What you would have to do is, I already smoothed that out, but smooth this whole part out, curved up, like that. So, and to load it, so in case you do make it, and... You would take the rubber band and pull it back all the way to the farthest. So, but yeah, uh, it's a really neat project to do with um, your mom or dad. But just overall, I'm going to keep this. Maybe do something else. Make it, make a different type of rubber band gun with it. But maybe, but I had this video uploaded in a lot, in a little bit. But. If you like the video, stop that like button with your forehead, and I'll give you catch you guys in the next video.